Three hours later. Good morning, my internet darlings, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Duel. I'm actually recording this just a few short hours after my last video went up. So uh, I made a mistake in the last video, which is probably why the, those pulls were so horrible. Do you know what I forgot to do? Do you know? I forgot to give Tia some love. I forgot to give Tia some love. Blessings be to Tia. Blessings be to Taiki. I've been talking with Saturday Night Monster over on Professor Showtime's stream, which by the time this goes up will be from yesterday. And Mega Galilee, he's got some ideas for Mega Galilee. So I'm going to go ahead and do some 10 packs, just like four more 10 packs. If I don't get the Mega Galilee, I will definitely craft it so that uh, we can have some playtime. I'm, I'm really down for it. So let's see what we pull up. See if we can get Mega Iceman. Come on. Alrighty, and first up, we're going to get an Audino, really? Audino, okay. And Vibrava, alright, I'll take chain levels on that. Um, come on, Tia. Come on, Taiki. Sneasel! Come on, Tia. Come on, Taiki. Give me the love. Flaffy. Wow. I mean... It's not for Muse, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not feeling this already. I got another snow run, though. That's pretty good. Come on, Tia. Zatu. Oh, my goodness. She's trolling me, guys. She's trolling me. Flygon. Oh, oh, hi, hi, hello, hello. Whoa, Mega Rayquaza. That is awesome. I am down for that Mega Ray. Heck yes. Thank you very much, Tia. Blessings be to Tia. Blessings be to Taiki. Let's see if we can pull out a Mega Glalie as well. I'm really hoping the answer is yes. Oof, that's so pretty. No new plates, but hey, all right. This makes me feel hopeful. We got the Mega Ray. Let's see if we can pull this off. Oof. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm still watching Professor to Showtime's stream. And uh, he's being attacked by Full Melt right now. Which, if you don't know, Full Melt, uh, Full Melt tends to kind of troll Professor Showtime. I have no idea who Full Melt is. People have claimed that it's Tarvold, but uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Got a Flaffy. And another Zatu. Come on, Tia. Come on, Taiki. Give your girl some love. We've got a Solosis. The face butt. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, what? Hi. Hi. And it's a white Kirim. Um, I mean, it, it's a good figure for sure. And it's a UX, but it's, it's not what I'm looking for. It's definitely not what I'm looking for. And I can only have so many of those. Snow Runt. And next up, we've got... Have a lug. Alright. So. Okay. Hi. Regirock. Alright. I'll take a Regirock. I think that might be Regirock number three. Got another Avalug. Alright. So we got a UX in that one. Just not the one we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back up one more time. Well, really two more times. Oof. I'm sorry. It looks like... Uh, Looks like we might have some lag going on. I'm sorry about that. And let's see what we can get. We've got an NK that already has carbonite on it. Nice. And what do we got? Another Frostless. I'll definitely take that. That is Frostless number two. <laughs> and he shop it. And what do we got? Another white serum. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. K 
Can 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 we get something else maybe? Absol. I mean, I've never used Absol, but it could be good. Another snow runt. I think I think that might be all the snow runts I need. And another Tynamo. Guys, I got so many Tynamo in that last one. I'm about to have a chain level 10 Tynamo. Bennett. That's not... Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. There we go. Mega Iceman. I'm down for it. Here we go. If you checked out Showtime stream yesterday, you'll know whether or not I actually got in because I plan on using this in a deck against Professor Showtime if I get into one of these room matches. All right, let's see what else we can grab. We've got a Shepet. All right, I still wanna do one more. Maybe we will be blessed. Actually, first, let's go right over. Let's go back to the shop and uh, give Tia some love. All right, Tia, thank you very much for everything you've given us. I'm gonna go in for one more. Are you with me, girl? Are you with me, sweetheart? All right. Let's see if she's still with us. Looking for another Mega Glalie. And possibly one of the other new figures that we haven't picked up. Wouldn't mind a Reggie Ice or a Drampa. A Drampa. Drampa? Drampa? How is that one pronounced? Is it Drampa or is it Drampa? Let me know down in the comments. And we've got another Snorunt. Oh, I see gold. I see gold. And it's Meowth. Oh, boy. And Noibat. All right. Also, super looking forward to that Alolan Ninetales. Alolan Vulpix is my favorite. I've actually hatched a uh, Alolan... Vulpix and Pokemon Go, and first thing I did was name it Snowy. But I have to get a second one so that I can have Snowy and the Ninetales. And a Trap Inch. Okay. So, Tia, Taiki, give me some love here. Nope, that's a Gothitelle. That is not love. That is not love. Audino. Come on. Can we get it? Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. There we go, Reggie Ice. I am down for that. I am totally down for that. Now, I may still mat a second Glalie because I've got the three Glalies. It would be nice to have options, you know? Options are always good. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Most definitely. Let's go ahead and craft now. I, I definitely want to craft and then I will use gems to purchase the proper plates so that I've got them all together. Ooh, this lag though. The lag is real. There we go. Come on. All right, where are you? There you are, Mega Glalie. I'm going to go ahead and buy a hit now. And that way we've got two to use in the deck. Uh, definitely gonna kind of play around with the deck because Showtime's currently playing against V Flash, so uh, we'll we'll see what I can grab, what I can put together to fight against Showtime. If you're not already subbed to Showtime, definitely go check him out. He's a very good gamer, very good streamer. Uh, he streams for hours at a time. And at this point in time. He's been streaming for four hours. Wow. So, yeah, I'm going to get busy putting together some decks. <coughs> all right, and we are back. I've gotten all my cleanup done. I've set up a deck. Uh, the reason I decided to put together a deck is because Saturday Night Monster was spitballing a couple of things while we were both watching Showtime's stream. So I set this deck up, decided to try and give it a shot. I couldn't get in against Showtime, but Mean Saturday Night Monster got in a couple of matches. So I'm just going to go ahead and show those to you right now. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know if there's any improvements. 
that you think I should make to the deck. If I don't have the plate, I can get the plate. If I don't have the figure, I can get the figure. Let me know. So this is the first of three matches I played against Saturday Night Monster last night while I was waiting for my turkey to be finished. I wasn't really sure what he was going to bring up against me. Uh, I'll be honest, I was a little scared. I, I, he's got the Kyrim, he's got the Zekrom, so they can bring out the, uh, what you call it, Kyrim Black, I believe it is. I checked out his particular Glowies. He also has Mega Glowies and has two Mega Glowy plates. So there goes that DNA splicer, eliminating the weight from that particular mod so he can use it. Now, the MP buff on Kyrim is very, very real, so I decided to go ahead and grab right there, keep him from doing anything. Sorry about the sound of that bus. So I'm just setting up the board, making sure he can't jump over. Now Frostlass can jump over other mons, which is why I'm backing absolutely everything up. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Glalate now. Not sure if that was maybe the best choice, but to go up against Black Hiram, I think it probably was. And we get the sheer cold against that fusion bolt. So bye bye. He chooses that moment to go ahead and split them apart, so that he still has both mons. Doesn't have anything in there. He goes forward with his Glalie, and I'm sure he's going to bring out his Glalite at some point shortly. So I decided to go ahead and get rid of that Kyrim now. Unfortunately, it does leave me frozen. So I just have to hope against hope that uh, nothing untoward goes down. Unfortunately, he double chances. He is not missing this chance to get rid of my Mega. Oof. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That is unfortunate. But it would have been more unfortunate if he'd still had Kyrim on the area. He could have excluded me, but, you know... Glalie's ability, when it goes off, it does not leave the field. It just goes back to being Glalie, which I'm a fan of. So I still don't lose it. But he brings out his Mega. Attacks my poor little birdie. But we get the Roost. Big fan of that. I will take it. Roost or uh, the Thunder Charge would have been the only things to have. So I bring out my Glalie to back it up just in case someone gets froggy. Even turn, neutral turn, I'm a fan, makes both of them spin. I don't remember what it is we have to spin, but uh, obviously we didn't spin the bad thing. And he just jumps right on over with Frostlass, which I'm fine with. I'm going to go up against this little, what you call it, the synthesis guy, I forget, Shaman, Shaman Landform. Oof. Now, for some reason, he doesn't surround me here, and I'm not sure why. He backs up. I'm going to go ahead and attack again, hoping for that gold against purple. Don't get it. Get the white against purple. So now, it's got its synthesis on. It only buffs the one figure, but that one figure is enough. But I really want to get rid of it. I really want to get rid of it so that I can get rid of that Glalie, and I get the gold against the purple. I'm a fan. I will definitely take it. That also gives me the Evo because I do have three Glalies. I only have two of the Megas, but I do have three Glalies naturally. These were all pulls. And he loses his Mega. What is he going to choose to do next? All right, so he's just jumping on over trying to get rid of my guy, my landform. I'm not digging it, but I also know that Frostlass can jump over me, so I make sure to cover my goal. That's right, Pretty Autumn. I'm listening. And we've got a little bit of setup going on. I'm going to try and get rid of that Fusioner. Managed to do it. Thank goodness. Now I have options. I can take over an entry point. I can go forward. I choose to go forward with my, uh, my Articuno. Knock it out. I'm a fan. Now I have to choose. Oop. 
rolled a miss. But I guess miss isn't what it's looking for. I have a choice of two entry points I can cover at this point. He attacks. That's okay. I get healing flowers. I don't have anything to bring back, though. I'm not going to surround him just yet. I would much, much rather... Oh, healing flowers again. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this entry point before I bother surrounding. I get the roost. That is completely fine with me because I don't feel like losing my bird. Now he's going to keep on attacking. He gets the glaciate, which honestly is kind of fine with me. And luckily nothing happened, so I'm just going to go ahead and surround the frost last now and uh, continue on forward with the assault. We get the ice charge when he attacks us, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. I probably should have waited until I had everything in position, but, uh, you know, then the breaks. So he's able to unfreeze it immediately. I'm just going to go on forward. He pulls out his second Glalie, which I'd actually forgotten about. But it's okay. He doesn't have his uh, Land Shaman right now. I've got space that I can cover. Oh, and we get the gold against the purple, baby. Yeah. Now, it is gone. Well, the Mega Glalie is gone, but he's still on the board. That's fine. That just means I can continue moving forward with Frostlass. Now, he has to get back over and protect that goal. So, I'm going to just rest Frostlass here. My plan is to jump over next turn. He sees it. He sees it. He knows. So, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. And just keep the pressure on. Unfortunately, I did not get the diamond dust there. That would have been super nice. So, let's just move everything forward. Oof, and we get the destiny bond against the ice charge. Let's go. Time to take home that win right there. Both of us spin. We don't get whatever it is that's needed. Oof, and time to go ahead and hop on that goal. With my paralyzed Glalie, I am a huge fan. I will take that win. He'd asked if he could change out the deck, and I had said yes, and he pulled out the Ultra Beasts and won in, like, five turns, I think it was. And it was, it was just horrible. Didn't give me any practice at all with my figures. And, uh, yeah. Well, maybe more than five turns. No, barely more than five turns. He, he just, he schools me on this one. So I'm definitely going to need more practice going up against the Ultra Decks with this Ice Deck. But obviously, he won this one very quickly. Let's, so six turns, six turns to win. For our third match, we, uh, we went back with the same decks again. Uh, I definitely need more practice against the UBs. So I'll probably... Play this a little bit more in room matches, and if it tests well in more room matches than just what you've seen here, it will definitely go into league. It'll also be ready for the uh, what you call it, uh, the Ice Dragon Gym that's eventually coming. I believe we're going to be getting a Queen's Cup first, though, featuring another Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Ninetales. He goes ahead and hits up that Mega. Ooh, we get the Ice Charge. Yeah, baby. So I'm going to go ahead, leap over, and uh, ice him now. Although that might not... I don't know. I don't know if that was the best play or not. Uh, but it was the play I made. It would have been nice to be able to attack that Glalie with my Sheer Cold on regular Glalie and uh, get rid of him for good. That would have been a nice little banish. Ooh, sorry about all the traffic, guys. So I'm going to go ahead, double chance, and try and get rid of that Shaman now while I can. There we go. Ice Shard going down. If 
fun fact that ice shard will also get rid of sheer uh, spear plates depending on what gets rolled and we get our Evo I'm a fan of it so far I'm finding uh, snow rent fairly easy to evolve I don't know if it's gonna continue to play out in the future but so far very easy to evolve I'm a fan of it we go ahead and diamond dust that uh, what you call it yeah so I may have made a mistake I don't think I've got sheer cold on Glalie he's gonna just float on over with his frost lass I'm gonna jump on over next to that goal he's gonna galatite or galatite he's gonna mega <laughs> and attack unfortunately his ice shard knocks me right out but uh, my ice shard's gonna ice him I think everything's spinning now all right he knocks me out he doesn't get iced for some reason I thought he did but I was wrong I'm just gonna go ahead and back everything up oh and we get the Chiron the DNA splicers which gets rid of that ice I'm not a fan I'm not a fan of it so I'm just gonna go right over here <coughs> and I don't remember if let me let me stop that right quick he's taking over entry points let me see. I don't remember if Black Kyrim has... Yes, it does have Fly. Alright. So, it's a good thing I did cover up that goal point. Because otherwise he could have just gotten that Fly Cheese. And I'm not a fan of the Fly Cheese. Unless I'm getting the cheese. So, I go ahead and Max Revive my Glalie. Get it back out there to uh, just back things up. I don't want shenanigans happening. And he's going to attack with his Frost Last, which is very dangerous for us. Luckily, we go against the Blizzard. I'm a fan. I will definitely take it. I'm iced, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. But I will go ahead and heal myself now because if he gets the Fly, he has no choice but to kill himself. And I'm going to head toward over here and try and cover up his other entry point. He gets the fly against the freeze dry, which means he's got to kill himself. Which, it's a surround kill. He can't just stay there. And I'm going to go ahead and get my own mega out. I'm glad that I waited this time. I learned my lesson. Definitely keep, keep, keep it in the back until you actually need it. I'll go ahead and take the entry point and try and get rid of this guy. We get the sheer cold versus the diamond dust. Ooh, big fan of that. So now he's down to one Mon. One single little Mon. But I don't have my Shaman on my entry point, which is my goal, is to actually get the Shaman over there onto my entry point. He attacks my Glalie. Ooh, we get the Diamond Dust. Not a fan of that. Luckily, I've got my, I believe it's Frost Lass. Yes. My Frost Lass is in a space where I can just go forward, unfreeze, I'm a fan. I will take it. That way nothing else can come on the entry point. Oof. Bad luck, man. Bad luck. So now I don't even need to surround it, but I will continue forward. I don't have anything that can go onto the entry point, so it's going to have to be a wait or forfeit win. Definitely a fan of the team. So definitely let me know down in the comments below what you think of that particular deck. Do you think I can improve it and how? I'm um, just going to open up these missions real quick and see what we get. I also have a black box to open. And then I'm going to start editing because it may take like three hours depending on how my phone is feeling. And what do we got next? Oh, I see pretties. Alright, we got a wheel. That's nice. I'm a fan. Let's just pop this right over here to the gems. And... I'm, I'm okay with that. I just spent a whole lot of gold cleaning up my inventory, which I try and do after, like, 
every opening or so, at least once a week. So that's it. We have to play four league matches. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but let's go ahead and open up this black box. Also, if you look in your inbox, oops, it's already commonite. All right, I'll take that. All right, we do have the booster ticket for the bug. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm probably going to save up all those little tickets until the summer celebration ones are all here, which of course there's no materials for, but uh, I'd like to have a decent amount all together. But that is actually going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow is 4th of July here in the United States, so if you celebrate, I hope you have a great time. If you like the content, why not hit that subscribe button? I know that about 60% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so uh, why not just hit the button, man? It, if you're just going to be watching anyway, you might as well hit that button. And that way you can also hit that notification bell and you'll know every time I upload. I don't see a downside to this. And if you like this video, hit that like button. But in the meantime, have a wonderful holiday. If you don't celebrate, have a great day. And I may or may not see you tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Bye-bye.